Okay, here you see is the Morphine Mini PC uh, M1. This has the Intel N100 uh, processor in it. It's a mobile processor along the order of a Celeron or a Pentium. Although the N100 is and should be vastly superior to the uh, Celeron J4125. I currently do have a pocket PC with the Celeron J4125. I use it in connection uh, with my MacBook Pro to give me the effect of having native windows similar to what you used to do with Boot Camp on the Intel side and my MacBook being an silicone based. So let me go ahead and open this up. go. Here's the main part, the mini computer part of it. And it, it has, and it's actually fairly lightweight. It has the look and feel. This is a mini PC, but really on the order of a pocket PC, not a mini PC. A mini PC would be like the uh, Mac mini that you see in the top corner and a Lenovo a uh, little Lenovo mini PC that has a uh, Celeron processor in it. Um, <clears throat> this has three uh, USB 3.1, I believe they are, uh, ports on one side, two HDMI, so it can support uh, dual screen, heat uh, air vents for cooling purposes, a USB-C uh, port here, uh, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet on uh, audio jack, and uh, is that the audio jack? That is the audio jack. Okay, and uh, I may have misspoken. This might be for the input power. Now this is it weighs about this more fine. Yeah, uh, and this is the model M10 with the N100 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and a half terabyte of storage, and that should be uh, M2 M.2 NVMe. And here is the power adapter. Yes. Yeah. USB-C is for the power. And this is a laptop style charger. I would have preferred not quite this way because this does take up a lot more of an outlet than just the prong would suggest. And it does come with a uh, an HDMI cable. And a Visa mount and screws for the purpose of mounting it on the back of of a uh, of a monitor if your monitor supports that. Okay. <clears throat> this is the main crux of it, though. Okay, powering this up for the first time, I've have. An external USB keyboard mouse combo attached. You can see the M10 logo for the um, model of the computer. Right now everything's looking pretty slick. Um, according to the um, uh, description of this, it should boot in seconds. Uh, and this is initial boot, so it'll be a little bit longer. Okay, here's the Windows 11 installer. Okay, it's doing the initial setup now that I've done the basic questions here. Okay. Let's 
Just doing initial setup here. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this down. And now that it's fully shut down, let's power it up and see how quickly it takes to boot up. No kidding, it takes seconds. It really does. and the desktop's loaded, just like that. Okay, um, I've got an initial setup on this computer. I got a uh, barrier so that I can use my uh, Mac Mini keyboard and mouse uh, to uh, control this uh, PC, which you can see uh, the control here is being done through uh, the Mac Mini using Barrier. I see here I three finger swipe and I'm on the Mac side, and uh, and then I can easily bring the control. Uh, uh, use the same keyboard and mouse to control this. I'm going to go ahead and play Fortnite through GeForce Now. One of the things I have not seen anybody evaluate is the N1 process N100 processor for cloud gaming. Okay, we saw some uh, good example of uh, cloud gaming, and that, that did well. Uh, let's look at some of the more basic things that you'll be doing uh, if you were to have this uh, by this PC. Uh, that would be uh, launching an application like Word. And like that, it loads. I mean, it loads very well. Um, go ahead and let's go with Excel. And there it loads. Look at that, how, how well it loads. Uh, let's come along and um, go to uh, PowerPoint. And there it loads. <laughs> it's stuff. And this is first time running it on a reboot, so it's not like it's cached or anything. Um, at least not from previously running it while the system is up and running. Uh, launch the uh, Edge browser, which can be a bit of a pig. And there it loads. Uh, it, it, it does. It does well, like you see, it, it, it performs very, very well. Um, usually when you go with a uh, one of these uh, mobile processors uh, or low power using uh, Celerons or Pentiums, you expect to get a performance hit uh, based on the affordability of the processor. Uh, but it with this N100, this mobile computing uh, processor from Intel, 
you're not really sacrificing a lot. I, I, I don't know what I'm sacrificing. Uh, can I get better and faster? Oh, heck yeah. But then you shell out money for that, and that's the premium that you're paying for. But uh, it's not like I'm having to tolerate uh, a degree of acceptable slowness when it comes to this processor, because I'm simply not. I'm getting excellent performance. 